In this tutorial, I'll show you the fastest way of writing HTML code in VS Code Editor. We're going to use Windows 10, but instructions for the Mac OS are identical because we're going to be using the Code Router extension. Now go ahead and open your VS Code Editor and go to Extensions. I'm going to type Code Runner so I can locate the Code Runner VS Code extension. Go ahead and click on that and then click on the Install button. Now go into the Settings control and go to extension settings. Now go into the upper right corner and click on this settings button. This will open your VS Code settings.json file which contains configuration for an entire VS Code editor. Go ahead and start typing code-runner.executor map. Now you have to click on the first result in a drop down and it will open up the entire settings for all languages, not just HTML. So now go ahead and scroll up all the way to the top. Because HTML is missing from this list, we have to add it on our own. Basically, we're going to tell VS Code Editor which command should be executed every time we try to launch an HTML file from our project folder. The first thing we need to do is change the directory to our project folder. And after that, we have to start the Chrome browser with our file. So just go ahead and type file name with an uppercase N and close the double quote. Now just make sure to save this settings file before moving to the next step. We have just configured Code Runner to run HTML code in our VS Code, so go ahead and close all of the tabs so we can start a new project. Now go into File and click Open Folder. I'm going to right click and actually create a new folder for this project called HTML. And then go into Select Folder button. Okay, so we have just started our HTML project. Now go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to start mine and name it subscribe.html. Then just hit enter. Now I'm going to paste some basic HTML scaffold into my project. And let's say semicolon.dev goes into the title. And I'm going to create a h1 title called subscribe. Now to actually run this HTML code in VS Code Editor, right click on the file and go to run code. We'll see in the output console that our HTML file is being launched, but you might actually run into this error, which does not recognize the path we specified earlier. So let's go back into the settings JSON file to make some adjustments. Instead of just using the file name, I'm actually going to use the direct path to my project. I'll also replace file name with an actual file name of my HTML file. Now, you might not have to do this, but if you do experience this problem, this is the solution. Now, let's go ahead and launch the file again, and you will see that it's successfully running in the browser. Now, the Code Runner extension does not automatically reload your HTML file every time you save it. Code Runner also does not run your HTML code as a web application on localhost. For that, you have to use another extension called Live Server, which I already explained in my other tutorial on this channel. But at the very basic, this is how you run HTML code in your VS Code Editor.